Hello, friends! Did you miss the latest stories from the world of technology, science, and maybe even eternal youth? Today, we'll talk about how artificial intelligence is no longer just writing text or generating images. It's actually helping to reverse the aging of human cells. And yes, Sam Altman, OpenAI, and a biotech company from San Francisco are right in the middle of it. Retro Biosciences, a biotech company from San Francisco, has announced ambitious plans. They're raising $1 billion for their mission to extend human life by at least 10 years. And this is not just talk. Later this year, they're launching their first clinical trials of experimental drugs, with artificial intelligence playing a central role. Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, was one of the first believers. Back in 2022, he invested $180 million of his own money to kickstart Retro. Now, in this new funding round, he's coming back with even more. The company is negotiating with family offices, venture capitalists, sovereign wealth funds, and even a massive U.S. data center to power the AI models behind their work. In partnership with OpenAI, Retro created a specialized AI model. Think of it as ChatGPT, but built for biology. Instead of generating stories, it designs proteins that can temporarily transform ordinary human cells into stem cells, essentially reversing aspects of cellular aging. And the results? Early lab tests showed something remarkable. The effectiveness of this cellular rejuvenation increased by about 50 times compared to traditional methods. In simple terms, if before the process barely worked, with AI's help, it suddenly became much more promising. Retro is moving fast, and they're working on three major therapies. A pill against Alzheimer's disease. The idea is to restore the cell's internal recycling system, which breaks down in patients with dementia. This drug will begin early stage trials in Australia this year. A cell therapy for the brain. This involves replacing microglia, the brain's immune cells, with fresh, healthy ones. It's an ambitious plan, almost science fiction, but potentially game-changing for treating neurodegeneration. A blood rejuvenation therapy. Imagine you're 85 years old. With this treatment, your aged blood stem cells could be replaced with zero-age cells, which then spread through your body and start producing new, young blood. As Retro's CEO, Joe Betts LaCroix, put it, it's as if 80% of your blood became brand new. Of course, Retro is not the only player here. What we're seeing is the rise of a whole new industry, the global race to extend human lifespan. Altos Labs, for example, has Jeff Bezos behind it. In 2022, they raised an eye-watering $3 billion, the largest biotech fundraising in history. Their focus is cellular reprogramming, literally turning back the biological clock of human tissues. They've recruited some of the best scientists on Earth, including Nobel Prize winners, and given them freedom and resources on a scale universities could only dream of. Isomorphic Labs, spun out of Google DeepMind and led by Demis Hassabis, is taking a different route. Their strength is AI-driven drug discovery. By predicting protein structures and designing molecules, they want to shorten the typical 10 to 15 year drug development cycle. And this isn't theoretical. By the end of this year, they're starting clinical trials of drugs designed entirely with artificial intelligence. And then there's Calico Life Sciences, another Google-backed project launched back in 2013 with a mission to understand the biology of aging itself. While less flashy, Calico has been quietly investing in deep research, aiming to uncover the very root causes of why we age. Silicon Valley billionaires aren't standing aside either. Bill Gates, Larry Page, and many others have invested fortunes into biotech companies focused on longevity. It's been called a new kind of gold rush, but unlike oil or data or AI, the resource everyone is after now is time itself. So when we look at retro biosciences, we see just one piece of a much larger puzzle. 
Today, billions of dollars and some of the brightest minds alive are locked into the same challenge, finding a way to extend not just life, but healthy life. And whoever gets there first won't just change medicine, they'll change human civilization itself. If Retro and its competitors succeed, the impact will be enormous. Alzheimer's disease, which today has no cure, could finally become treatable. Therapies for rejuvenating blood and brain cells could allow people to stay healthier much longer. And AI, once just a tool for conversation, would prove itself as a true partner in scientific discovery, making breakthroughs that humans alone couldn't. Retro CEO Joe Betts LaCroix put it simply, we want to reduce human suffering. And maybe that's what makes this movement different. It's not only about living longer, it's about living better. Of course, we're still at the very beginning. Clinical trials take years, sometimes decades. But if the first results are promising, the 2030s might be remembered not for flying cars or space colonies, but for the decade when humanity finally learned how to slow down aging. And who knows? Maybe one day, along with your Netflix and Spotify subscriptions, you'll be able to get a subscription to youth itself. So let me ask you, would you take that therapy if it was safe and available? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to know. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned, because the future is coming faster than we think.